So the functionality inside of our application is in a pretty good spot right now. You know, we can select videos, but the styling is still a little bit off. You know, we've got the list down here. We really want to be on, have it be on the right-hand side up here. So I think we still got a little bit of work to do. Let's do some CSS in here just to kind of get stuff rolling. The project is already set up to do some basic CSS. I've got a style folder in here with a style.css file. If we go ahead and add some CSS in here, it will be automatically applied to the project. So let's go ahead and add some CSS in here. Unfortunately, this is going to be a lot of just you know typing stuff out. Just bear with me. Let's get through it. So first off, we'll add a search bar selector. This will get a margin of 20 picks and we'll align it to the center. Next, we'll take our search bar and select the child input of it with a width of 75%. Then a video item. And so this will be our thumbnail on the right hand side with a image selector. We'll get a max width of 64 pixels. You know, we're just going to cap the size of it. Next, we'll do a video detail with details. And so these will be our individual uh, video details on the right hand panel. So we'll get a margin top of 10 picks, a padding of 10 picks, a border of 1 picks solid DDD. That's just kind of a nice uh, you know, gray. We'll give it a border radius of 4 picks as well. Okay. Second to last, we have a list group item, and we'll make sure that the cursor shows up as a pointer, just so it's nice and clear that, hey, when you're like, you know, hovering over this thing, it, it is something you can click on. And then to make that extra clear, we'll say when you're hovering on it, so we'll use a pseudo selector of hover with the background color of another gray, triple E. Okay, let's go ahead and refresh. I'm going to pull my width out here a little bit. And these look nice and rounded. The top one's still, oh, okay, so here's our video detail. No, okay, that looks good. That's our video detail. All of these now get a nice gray highlight and a cursor whenever I mouse over it. Looks good. The input at the top still doesn't have any styling. Uh, we made use of this search bar class, but I don't think we ever applied the class name search bar to our search bar component. So let's do that real quick as well. I'm going to open up search bar, find our top level div right here, and I'm going to add a name, class name, of search dash bar. In general, I am a big fan of uh, giving your top level component right here a class name that is basically the same as the component name, just you know, lowercase separated by uh, dashes really makes it easier to have one CSS file per component, which makes styling really, really straightforward. Okay, so let's try checking out that input now. All right, yeah, this is looking good. So we got this nice input up top, we got the video list, we got our, or excuse me, our video detail, and then the video list down below. Let's go ahead and fix up the rest of this in the next section.